Hi, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. I'm going to be working a problem from Water Resources. And the problem states, find the velocity at point 2 in the pipe system shown. The flow is frictionless. I'd encourage you to pause this and try to solve this on your own before we move ahead. And if you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. So, what we have here is a basically a, a system of pipes. We've got some water up here and it's asking for us to find the velocity at point two which is down here. And they've given us some dimensions. We have 15 feet from the base of this all the way to the top of this tank and we have another dimension of 10 feet from where the water is down to that same point. And we're given this is point one and this is point two. It also states that the flow is frictionless. So the way to solve for velocity at point two is by using the energy equation. And I am using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, the CIRM, and the equation I'm going to be pulling from is equation, equation 17.66. And what that gives you is an energy equation that basically states that pressure over density plus the velocity squared over 2g plus z plus head loss minor head loss plus head loss friction. So this gives you the total energy in the system. Energy total. So what we're going to do is set the energy at 1 equal to the energy at 2. Now because it said the flow is frictionless, we're going to ignore the losses, the head losses due to minor and the head losses due to friction. Minor head losses have to do with bends in the pipe, elbows, 90 degree elbows, such uh, obstructions as that. So we're going to ignore those. So what we're going to do is set the equations equal to each other and solve for the velocity at 2. So what we have is pressure at 1 over gamma plus velocity at 1 squared over 2g plus elevation at point 1 equals pressure 2 over gamma plus velocity 2 squared over 2g plus Z2. Now pressure at 1 is going to be 0 because it's open to the atmosphere and the velocity at 1 is going to be 0 because you're dealing with a large body relative to the system so your velocity is 0 but your elevation is still there. The pressure at 2 same thing is going to be 0 as it is open to the atmosphere. Velocity is what we're solving for and we have the elevation which if we set this bottom point as our datum we know that this is actually zero so you can set this to zero too so all we need to do is solve this equation and um, basically you would get z1 minus z2 all times by 2g equals velocity 2 squared and that basically gives you a velocity 2 of equaling the square root of um, well we, we can start plugging in our numbers you know z1 is 10 and z2 is 0 so that's 10 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 32.2 feet per second squared and that will give us our velocity and if you work that out you get an answer of 25.38 feet per second which gives you the answer A. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out more videos where we solve more problems to help you study for the PE exam or check out civilengineeringacademy.com to help you out with your PE. Thanks, bye.